Welcome to Fidelis Alec Impact. Lift your voice and speak to him. Egbo was okay, he had bought Lauren Sorrow. Somebody that is excited to be in God's presence. Would you give the Lord a clap offering? Make that clap better. Make that clap better. Before you take your seat, walk to several people, tell them God will meet you at the point of your need. Give him another club offering and guess it. To somebody this morning, before you came here. God was here waiting for you. And that which is ultimate in your heart, He will put in your hand. I have this word for you. You are among those that will return after this service with a testimony. Mm-hmm. 
I have another word for you. Before you get home today, that thing that was a concern would have been a testimony. Amen. I have another word for you. By this time tomorrow, good news will meet you. Amen. I may not know whom I'm talking to, but I know God is speaking to someone. By this time tomorrow, a good news will come to you. Amen. By this time tomorrow, God will cause you to laugh again. Amen. By this time tomorrow, every concern you will be dancing about them. Amen. That person here that is having accommodation challenge. This week we are entering, it shall be delivered to you. Amen. The person I'm talking to, your amen will frighten the person around your side. Please take your seat if you have one. We are looking at the way of God's power, part two C. Psalm sixty-three. Iwe only David yori keni dini adorin. Verse one to two. Ese kini ati kejire. He says, "Thou art my God." You want your Lord to me. Early will I seek thee. Ni kutu le mi yo wojure. My soul thirsted for thee. Oko min pong befo. My flesh longed for thee. Ara mi nyara rofu. In a dry and thirsty land. Si let yo be ti ti ko to fung be. Where no water is. Ni biti ko si o mi. He says to see thy power. Lati ri agbara re. And thy glory, at your glory, as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Our objective this morning is understanding the way into God's power. There is no doubt the power of God is real. There is no doubt there are people that are custodian of God's power. The truth remains that many people who want to carry the power of God. The truth remains that if not everyone here, many of us here are interested in having more of God's power. But just like the Bible says that the labor of the foolish wearied so many people because they don't know how to how to gain access into God's power is the challenge with many. So we started a series. Our Father and the Lord starting with us on Wednesday. Began to show us how to assess God's power. The first thing we saw on Wednesday was being born again. John 1 12 says. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Being born again is the number one step into being initiated into the power of God. After that, we saw again flowing in the spirit flowing in the spirit the Holy Spirit of God is the custodian of God's power those that know how to work with him automatically become power people we also saw flowing in worship and praise how it can trigger the release of God's power on Wednesday we saw finally the fourth way into God's power it is seeking God 
early in Psalm 63 verse 1 to 2 it says oh God my God thou art my God early will I seek you the truth of the matter is we can see God at any time but there is a time in a day where the power of God comes very raw when we approach him and our father and the Lord said to us that any hour between 12 midnight and 6 a.m. if you can plug in, in unto, into God there is a dimension of power reserved for that in the first service today we saw number five desperate desire for God's power the power of God doesn't just come. It comes when people desire it. We also saw in the first service. Number six. Determination to give what it takes. To give what it takes. Every legal provision that God has made available that can release power you determine it to go all the way without being discouraged number 7 we saw the lifestyle of prayer we said those that are far from prayer will be far from power if you don't pray you can't assess God's power in the service that just ended we saw number 8 the lifestyle of fasting the lifestyle of fasting there is a connection between empty stomach and fasting and the realm of power. We also saw in the second service light and insight into God's word. Every word of God carries power. So whenever you read it, you study it you allow it to enter you what is entering you is power that was why we stopped number 10 faith in the heart faith in the heart permit me to say faith in the heart of a person is the switch of the power of God. Anytime a person is full of faith, that same person will be full of power. The Bible speaking about Stephen. Acts chapter 6 verse 8. Acts chapter 6 verse 8. He said, and Stephen full of faith and power. When men are full of faith, they cannot be empty of power. When men are loaded with faith, they will also be loaded with power. The fullness of faith equals the fullness of power. No wonder men of faith are men of power. I will give you an instance. There was a man called Smith Wigglesworth. Has anybody heard about that man? His name was Smith Wigglesworth. He was a man of faith. He was a man of rugged faith. It was said that before the man went to be with the Lord, he raised more than 20 dead people back to life. One day he went out. Before he returned home, his wife died. And this man of faith said, you didn't tell me you were going when I was going out. He called the name of his wife and said, Stand up. 
The woman did not respond. He said, I said, stand up. The woman did not respond. The dead body did not respond. He got angry. Carried the dead body. Stood the dead body by the wall. And left the dead body. Instead of the dead body to collapse. The woman opened her eyes. Somebody said, faith. I can hear you say faith. Every time faith is at work, the power of God responds. So to be empty of faith is the fastest way to be empty of power. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2 Thessalonians 1, 11. He said, Wherefore also, we pray always for you that our God will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. The work of faith is always escorted by power. When faith is moving, power will escort it. In First Peter chapter 1 verse 5, the first Peter chapter 1 verse 5, the book of Peter chapter 1 verse 5, first Peter chapter 1 verse 5, He said, who are kept by the power of God through faith. By the power of God through faith. When faith appears, power cannot stay away. When faith appears, power must appear. Would you lift up your right hand? Self tell me, say, Father, increase my faith. I can't hear you say, Father, increase my faith. If you didn't hear anything, don't forget this one. Faith is the switch of supernatural power. How many of you remember the woman with the issue of blood? The only thing she had was faith. The only thing she had was faith. Her money had failed. Her health was failing. In Mark, 11, in Mark chapter 5, we read 25 to 29. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things by many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus she came in the press behind and tossed his garment. For she said, if I may touch but the hem, but if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. The good thing about her when Jesus turned he said woman your faith is what did it. There were people there before her but they were there without faith. She came from behind but she came with faith. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. It doesn't matter where you are now. If you came with faith power may leave people in front and meet you where you are. And I announce to someone here may the power of God answer the faith in your heart. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? So in all you do grow your faith. When faith grows power availability will grow. Everything you can do 
to to have your faith grow brother and sister do it because the growth of faith equals the growth of power number 11 the lifestyle of humility the lifestyle of humility. I have a word for someone here. In three days from now, you will see the hand of God and power in your life. Amen. That gang up, that gang up around your life, the power of God is about to scatter it. If you are the one I'm talking to, your amen will come out better. It will come out better. Amen. They can't up against you in your father's house, in your neighborhood, in your office. I announce 72 hours from now, they will scatter. They will scatter. They will scatter. Tell her to come here. Lift up your hands. Stand there, lift your hands. Lift your hands. And no one is okay. La Kosu Radezia. Every conspiracy. What boy be mock on? Arrows from hell. Offer Lati be mockun. Cooked up. Do you want say? Marshal. Do you want move Against your life. Lodisia Yere. That witchcraft orchestration. What boy she and what jay? I announced to them. What was my chef more by ye? Your life is undercover. Who is it that says and they come to pass? When the Lord commanded the Lord, they shot arrows against you severally. But I today I retrieve it. And I send it back to where I came from. Out! 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 Get out! Loser! Amen! Get out! Amen! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Help me walk to 14 people. So when you're married, like tell them Lord. that gathering and gang up is scattering right now. If you believe that, shall scatter. Oh, yes. Sit down. A joke. Now, number 11. Oh, Kokola. The lifestyle of humility. The lifestyle of humility. Humility simply means death to self. Death to self. And an unassuming life. A life of meekness. A life that is easy going. A life of simplicity. Hear this. The power of God is looking for the humble. John the Baptist said in John 3.30 he said he must increase and I must decrease the power of God increases upon that individual who chooses to decrease the power of God increases upon that Christian who chooses to decrease the one that says I don't want to be seen I only want God to be seen that man is qualified for the release of God's power the Bible speaking about Jesus in the book of Philippians he said, he said who took upon himself upon who took upon himself the form of a servant and decided to die even the death of the cross he said wherefore God has exalted him and given him a name that is above every name that in the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord read that scripture in Philippians chapter 2 
He said he made himself of no reputation. And took upon himself the form of a servant. And decided to appear like a man. In case you don't know, we are talking about the one that created man. He decided to leave the God nature in heaven. And took the human nature on earth. And decided to allow the one he created to slap him. He decided to allow the one he formed to spit on him. And God was watching. He decided to feel hunger like man. I am talking about the one that is God himself. And when that happened. God said I promote you. And the Bible brings that scripture and says he has given him a name. The word giving him a name means he didn't have the name before. But humility qualified him to carry a name. That makes demons to tremble. In case somebody does not understand what I'm saying. Before Jesus came to this earth. He was the word of God. It was when he was about to be born. That the angel said his name shall be Jesus. When they met his mother, he will be Jesus. He will be Emmanuel. God with us. So that name Jesus came when he was coming on earth. The name did not, it, it, it was, that was not the name he was known for. Then when he decided to humble himself, God now decided to exalt the name. And made the name superior to every other name. That is a sign to us Amire. that humility increases authority. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The humbler you are, the more the power of God that works in you. The humbler you are, the more the anointing you can carry. When people are full of themselves, they become empty of God. The power of God does not stay for long with a person who is full of self. If you are here with me, say I hear. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 9 to verse 10, if you are not angry, see that scripture. Paul, the apostle, one of the most anointed individuals in the Bible. See his mindset. He says, for I am the least of the apostles. Don't remove this scripture. Based on what Paul saw and experienced. The dimension he entered in God. If it was if it were to be people of these days, his, his, his title will be the most senior right reverend. Ark apostle. By the time he's coming, people will be lying down. Because he once said, I know a man in the spirit. That whether in the spirit or in the flesh, I don't know. This man was caught up in the third heavens. He saw and heard things that cannot be spoken. It was a figurative speech he was speaking about himself. Paul said, there are revelations I have I can't share now because you can't understand. In other words, Paul had depths that he went to heaven with. The same Paul said, For I am the least of the apostles. That I am not meant to be called an apostle. Sir. In fact, call me Brother Paul. Because see where I started from. I was the one persecuting the church. 
Why Jaloju? If not for God's mercy, should I be here? Then he now began to speak in verse 10. He said, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. I didn't become what I became. Because I am powerful. Grace found me. Grace made me. His grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. Even though I labor so much, yet I cannot say I'm the one doing it. But the grace of God which he gave to me in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8. Ephesians 3 verse 8. The same Paul said unto me who I am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. My brother and sister drop that shoulder. Don't let anything enter your head. You are raising the shoulder. That is the reason why God's hand cannot reach your head to anoint you. Because you are almost higher than the highest. You are almost behaving like God's senior brother. You hear a lot of people say things like, do you know who I am? Ask about me. Do you know who I am? It's not your fault. If not that we are here together. You are not my class. Continue. You are the one who has determined the class. Anyone walking with God, he does not have class. Because where you see him today, he will move from there to the next day. He will move from there to a higher level the next day. Am I talking to someone here? Every time you begin to see pride, that thing that makes you look like feeling important, you look around and you can say, I'm better than this. I am superior to this one. When that begins to come to your mind, cry out to God to take it away. It will deflate you. It will make sure you don't cross a certain level. Am I talking to someone here? Lift your hands and say, Father, deliver me from pride. Finally, number, number 12. Number 12. The lifestyle of uprightness. The life of holiness. The life of righteousness. The life of purity. Hear me. Purity is the foundation for power. Purity is the foundation for power. A life that is pure. It has nothing to hide. A life that is clean. No wonder Jesus said. The prince of this world cometh. He has nothing on me. The power of God. And the anointing of God. Is at home. In the climate of uprightness. The power of God. The anointing of God. The unction of the Holy Ghost. Travels in the direction of purity. The purer you are. The more anointed you are. You know there are different kinds of impurity. There are people that they live inside the purity. They live inside, inside sin. There are people that have not endorsed physically. Their hearts, their mind is so dirty. No wonder, no wonder the Bible says the Lord sanctify you wholly. In other words, the sanctification of the body. The sanctification of the mind. The sanctification of the spirit. As long as you remain in unrighteousness, 
the power of God will remain far from you. That was why the Bible says in Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 59 1 and 2. It said the hand of the Lord is not short. That he cannot save. He has not become deaf. That he cannot hear. What is the problem? He said your iniquity. It has separated between you and your God. Your sin. Is the reason why you are not seeing him. Is the reason why he's not seeing you. When you take sin away. Then you bring God in. God cannot be in. And sin is in. You must make up your mind. To clean up your life. You must make up your mind. To say no to those secret practices. They know you as a Christian in church. But when you leave church, you are someone else. And you want to carry God's power. How can we sing the God's song? How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? No. When sin entered in the life of Adam, the power of God disappeared from him. When sin entered the life of Samson, the power of God disappeared from him. When sin entered the life of Judas, the power of God disappeared from him. The power of God has never been able to stay. Has never been able to stay where the life is not pure. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 8. Open it and see. He said, let thy garment be always white. And when your garment remains white, your head will not lack ointment. Your head will not lack anointing. Your head will not lack power. So the power of God is looking for the pure life. All the secret, secret things. Boyfriend. Girlfriend. You are always sitting and watching pornography. You are always excited masturbation. You have one secret thing or the other. It is the reason why you can't see the power of God. Exodus 15 verse 11. I'll stop there. Exodus 15 11. He said who is like unto thee? Oh Lord. Oluwa among the gods. He said, Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praise. Doing wonders. Whenever holiness is on ground, the power of God will be on ground to do wonders. I pray for you that you will not allow sin to sink you. Amen. I pray for you that those things that have battled with your life in case you don't know every time your conscience is affected for those whose conscience is still alive because there are many people their conscience have died the conscience have been buried they can't even remember the day they did the obituary conscience is seared with a hot iron those ones ones, repentance will be a miracle because they are living in sin and it doesn't move them. It doesn't move them. But for you, that your conscience is still alive. You do it and you can't sleep. Run to God and say, Lord, take away this thing. Because the the, 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 the clearer your conscience, the bolder you are. The bolder you are, the more power can flow through you. We can stand before a demon possessed. And we we'll say you will hear me and obey me. Because of level of boldness. And you say to him, come out from there. There are people that can't try it. In the first place, they know the devil is not afraid. In the second place, they are not sure God will back them. Because of secret. All those money you pinch, all those things you do, 
want to share. Leave it. Oh yeah, if you want to If you want to have power with God, and don't any agba la pelu Allah. Then there are things you must turn your back to. Agba do kwe yisa wongko. Stand on your feet. Eka di dilori esewa. If you want to have power with God, and don't any agba la pelu Allah. You can't do what everybody is doing. Oh, le she unti bogo ni yonche. That you are in a relationship does not mean you should have sex. To balas eso no ma basu. Sin is sin. You cannot say we are going out. Ah, ati fe do ko ati aya. Is it to her? Ti ona run apadi le lo ni. Going out. E jo nja de lo. Since we are going to marry. Gba te fe wa di oko ati awo nko. God does not license anybody to do that. Olorun o fa ye gba eleyi. It is only after you are married. Lo tu gba te ba di oko ati aya. Upon on top of it you didn't marry. Eh te tu wa fe ni na. You move to the next one. E tu 20 kg lo. You move to the next one. E 20 kg ta lo. And you are want you are looking for power? O wa wa agbara. God does not empower illegality. Olorun ko kin fe o te o ti o ye. God does not empower wrong. Olorun ko kin te o ti o ti o ye. If your life is wrong, the anointing will not flow. Ti aye re o ba ye, ami oloro ni sun. Let me shock you. E ka wa fi yi o ba. The Old Testament is a shadow of the new. O n to ta ko si tun ma je mu lai lai o la fi won ninu ma je mu tutu. When 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 Samuel got to the house of Jesse. Nigba ti Samuel ile dele Jesse. I was to anoint when the wrong people came, they are not refused to flow. That is how it is in the realm of the spirit. If your life is wrong, if you like ask for the power of God from that yes to tomorrow, it will not flow. But if your heart is, your life is right, the power of God flows expressly. I want you to pray this prayer. Lift your two hands. First and foremost, say, Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. The word you sent to me, lift your voice and thank him. 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 Now lift up your two voice, your, lift your two and say, Father, so, Baba, deliver me Bami. from everything that denies me so, so, access to your power. Oh Lord, Oluwa. set me free Bami. from a life of impurity. Set me free from a life of habitual sin. There are people here, listen, there are people here, they keep falling into sin. They fall arise. They fall arise. They fall arise. Until they think it's normal. It's not normal. There is nothing normal in sin. Let me show you. Look up here. If this is a Christian, can come in and show it. Come this way so you can see it. You are this level. And you begin to rise. Rising in God. Rising in power. Rising. 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 You are getting here. Maybe this is where God wants you to reach. And why you are here, you fell into sin. Do you know the meaning? You fall. You cannot fall and remain here. When you fall, you, you fall to the floor. And you say, Lord, forgive me. He will forgive you. Then you start climbing again. You start climbing again. You start climbing again. You fall again. You start climbing again. As long as you keep falling and rising, you will never get to a point where you will just say, get out! And he will get out. Now let me shock you. When you fall and you begin to rise and you get here, you say, Satan, I bind you. Some demons will hear. You say, Satan, I deal with you. Some demons will hear. When you fall again, they won't wait for you to rise before they pay back. Because you have been dealing with them. They know you are like a pendulum. You are rising and falling. The next time you are falling, they may ensure you don't come out of it. Am I talking to someone here? How long will you keep falling and rising? When God wants you to be a voice over your family, when God wants, you, wants to use you to pull your brothers and sisters out of the place where the devil kept them, look at somebody by your side and say, No more! 
lift, lift your voice and say, Father, deliver me today from every sin that pulls me down, that delays me, that brings me down. You lift your voice and pray. There are two ways to have faith. One is through studying the word of God. Connecting with the acts of God. Secondly, it's called the gift of faith. That one comes by impartation. That one is a grace. So you are going to ask. And you are going to say, Lord. Say after me, say, Lord. Increase my faith. Release on me. Release the gift of faith. I ask that you will help me to build my faith in you. Lift your voice and pray. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. It is a new day for you. Amen. I see the power of God increasing upon someone here. Amen. If you are the one I am talking about, your amen will show that you are the one. Because of time, I don't want us to delay in this service. We have three minutes to the end. And we have fourth service. Where we are going to be talking about judgmental fire. We are going to be making demands on the fire of God. To bring judgment upon witches and wizards around our territory. Yet this after today. Witches in your village, witches in your neighborhood, they either pack out or they will die on the account of the sun. But before we enter that fourth service, everyone here, bow your head. Close your eyes. And put, you are here this morning. And you want to surrender to Jesus. To make him your Lord and your Savior. Say after me, put your right hand on your head, on your chest. You want to surrender to Jesus. Put your right hand on your chest. If you want to see you backslid some time ago. You used to be a very good Christian. But you backslid. You went back to the world. But now you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Put your right hand on your chest. Maybe you are struggling and addicted to something. When I was talking about living a life of purity, you, you felt convicted. And you want God to deliver you from what you are addicted to. There is this something called masturbation. 
it is a dangerous addiction but I have seen God set people free from it am I talking to someone here you want God to set you free you are addicted to cracks drugs smoking alcohol womanizing you can't stay without a man you, you just pick things that you don't need you steal one or two things you are addicted to put your hands on your head on your chest everyone here if your hand is on your chest say after me say Jesus I surrender come into my life deliver me today I reject sin I reject Satan I declare today that you are my Lord thank you for dying for me in Jesus name if you pray that prayer everywhere you are wave your hands the way I'm doing my own let me see you wave your hand yes I'm seeing that hand there there are many of you yes I'm seeing I'm seeing those hands please I want you to come and meet me I want to shake your hands you want to surrender to Jesus if there is anybody around you who waved his hand encourage them to come to the front before I count three you are here I God bless you come quickly to you. Come quickly. Come, come. Everything. Ushers, keep your eyes I open. Give come. To you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Father, I pray for my brothers. Okay, someone is still coming. Come quickly. I pray for these ones here. And Jesus, I ask that the grip of sin. The hold of sin be broken from these lives. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give them the grace to serve you. Amen. And say no to sin, no matter the pressure. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a clap offering. Thank you for watching our video. For more inspiring word of God from the man of God, turn on your notification bell. Subscribe to the channel and share with your loved ones. God bless you.